Well, hello everyone. It's been a few days since I've recorded, even though my videos have been coming out. And I have been, I'm on the struggle bus again with this knee. And it's so strange because the original injury that I went home for has fully healed. But then I started having pain in the other side of the knee, below the kneecap. And so I have been off trail for five days hunkering down in a hotel room and I guess I did go to urgent care and I have fluid build up on the knee and so I've been on steroids to get that down and stretching and I have a pool there so I've been able to soak the knee and I went and got a massage yesterday so if there's anything that was causing that um, would hopefully work that out so today I am on just a little, I'm gonna do like a half mile in and a half mile out. I was gonna go a little bit farther, but I've been, the last two days I haven't been in as much pain. Today I'm having a little bit more pain and I don't know if that's just because of the massage and loosen some things up. So I'm just gonna do a half mile in. This is the first time I have stepped on trail in five days now. Um, I have it double wrapped, I have a compression sleeve, and then I also have a brace over it to protect it so that I'm not doing any more damage, but I'm just getting out and moving because obviously sitting around in a hotel room is not the best either, so there's a lot of gnats under here. So the, so where's the crew, where's the, where's the tramley? We're all split up now, so Snow Bear and the one have continued to trek north and I have been able to help them um, get them off trail when they needed to uh, because of some rain for a Nero and then take them back to trail and, and take them out and get them fed and get their laundry done and stuff like that. So that's been nice. But they're ahead now, probably 40 miles of me. Um, chef went home for Father's Day and has just been taking care of some things around the house, hoping that I can get back on trail and then he will rejoin me. Um, at this point, I'm just taking it one day at a time. I have two more days in my hotel and I'm hoping that maybe just taking a gentle, easy walk today and getting a little bit out and then going back and stretching and soaking in the pool will, um, will help. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm really on the struggle bus. as to what to do at this point because one day I feel great and then the next day I don't feel so great um, as far as pain. <laughs> it's just terrible that I feel like 150% upstairs and everywhere else. It's just this one knee that just keeps creeping up and giving me problems and uh, to the point where I am just literally hobbling down the trail at the end of the day and I had to put a stop on that because that's not 
the way that I want to hike this trail or any trail. So right now I'm just trying to take it one moment at a time and uh, not get inside my head. Um, you know, the days are going on. I've taken so much time off to try to allow for prevention of injury and recovery time. And uh, it just really sucks. This really sucks. I'm really frustrated because there's a lot of reasons that I was doing this. And one of this was to really just turn around my my health and my weight. And it's just kind of like fighting against me. But not being able to walk is obviously an important function of uh, hiking the AT. So I'm just going to take it over the next couple days. It's We're during the period right now with this extreme heat dome heat wave that's coming through. And I certainly don't want to race home. And in a few days, I feel great and feel like I made a, made a just, I, I jumped and made a decision too quickly. So I'm doing all the things that I'm supposed to be doing. I went and got it checked out. Um, I have a treatment plan. And now it's really kind of just going to determine whether that treatment plan is something that will get better in a week or is going to take longer and if I need to go home and then figure out what this hike's going to look like again it really stinks because this is the second time that I have attempted to do this and uh, I want to start from scratch a third time um, so where is my brain at my brain is at if I can at least um, if I can at least get to the point where I'm not in pain walking, um, I'm going to flip up to the Shenandoah area where the terrain is less up and down. And, uh, cause that's the kicker coming down those mountains are what triggers the inflammation and the fluid in the knee right now. So if I can avoid that <laughs> to ZAT. But if I can avoid that as much as possible, then maybe I have a chance to allow for some more recovery time without making this worse. But I really don't know. I really don't. So I'm at this really cool campsite, which is, um, shoot, I can't remember the name of the, I'm off a highway, I think it's 58. It's a pull off. It's a road crossing for the AT, uh, just a little bit up from Damascus. And um, so here's the creeper trails right behind me. See the bike path right there? And I'm literally just walking circles in this campsite right now. I'm in so many dilemmas mentally. I, it's terrible. You know... I really wanted to try to show a lot of what really happens out here on the AT and seeing the smiles, you know, when you meet people and having the fun is, that's the easy part really when it happens. Um, it's easy to turn the camera on, but right now I'm in this huge, like, just back and forth. Um, and it's not because I don't know what my mind wants to do. It's because I don't know what my body's gonna be able to do. And the hardest thing is, is that, you know, I just keep hoping, I have that hope that, you know, I'll heal up and I will be able to continue hiking, but then I get out here and I start walking around and, you know, certain little steps cause pain and cause me some alarm that I'm gonna get in myself into a predicament where I'm not just gonna be able like right here. I am, I have the creeper trail right behind me. My car is two tenths of a mile up the road. I can hobble to that or drag myself to that. But getting out into other areas, I get to a position where I can't walk. That's just not an option. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Five days I've been off trail now resting and healing and would I throw my backpack on today and go back on trail? Nope. I absolutely would not. So it's like how many how long do I stay 
in this state before I just have to make a decision. And, uh... <sighs> I don't know, y'all. My beautiful campsite. I head back to the car. It's so pretty, but I'll tell you what, anybody hiking right now uh, in this my car said it was 74 when I pulled in to the spot it's like it was 10 30 which normally I would get out here earlier but the humidity is just throw that full pack on your back and you are just you're like a faucet all day long alright let me turn this off so I don't trip over some of these rocks. So I'm walking out. You can hear the traffic, so I'm right near my car. But I didn't even make it a half mile in and out. And I'm hobbling, so I think I got my answer today, which is really what I needed. I mean, this is just not something that taking a week off of trail is going to heal. It's going to take longer than that. I think I think I got my answer today and I think that I just need to make sure that the boys are good taken care of and I need to go home and take care of me and uh, I might just have to reevaluate living on a trail for six months and do it a different way and I'm not going to say I'm not upset but uh I came out here and hiked almost 500 miles this year, 200 last year, and uh, I may just, I may just need to hike the AT a different way, and I'm fine with that. It doesn't make it any easier in the moment, but yeah, I'm hobbling. I can't even do a mile in and out on easy terrain. I have no business putting my health in danger. Somebody else's health, and they have to come and help me. Be, help me. My people I'm hiking with yeah so I'm back at the bridge <sighs>